Hey, it's Tony with Build the Dream. I am bringing my wife, Heidi, here, the oldest garden in America, along with the Audubon Swamp at Magnolia Plantation is the best hike in Charleston, South Carolina. This plantation was founded in 1676 by Thomas and Ann Drayton, and it's been in the Drayton family for 15 generations, and it's still in the Drayton family today. So we're gonna do the garden first. Then we're gonna do the swamp, try and find some alligators. Let's go. Antebellum period when Reverend John Drayton had this plantation, it was very well known for its live oak trees and its azalea bushes. And it's a really good contrast between the pink and the oak trees. Yeah, I love this, like this coral color. I don't know how they make different colors of azaleas, but I love this special unique coral color. And this place must be a photographer's dream. This would be a pretty place to get married to. <laughs> And look at that tree. It looks like it's from Avatar. Look how beautiful these look purple the flowers tree. are. In the 1840s, Reverend John Drayton, who owned this plantation, he was the first person in America to introduce the azalea plant to America. And I love the azalea plant. I know my mom loves the azalea bushes. They're just so beautiful. And yeah, this is where they were first introduced to America. statue is just in the middle and it's so beautiful. This garden is magnificent and if you love like Spanish moss and azalea flowers and gardens, you will love this place. Really cool. I always wondered how Spanish moss grows, but it's actually an air plant. It absorbs the moisture from the air. This beautiful romantic white bridge in the middle looks like it's from a movie. <laughs> I absolutely adore this bridge. I wanna have another wedding here. <laughs> um. The swamp water looks so, so cool. And then you have these water plants that are just growing in the water at the base of the trees. seen so many azalea flowers bloomed in one place. I don't know what these purple flowers are called, but I love the mix of the light lavender purple flowers and these pink azaleas. This entrance leads to Flowerdale, the nucleus of Magnolia Plantation's first garden designed in the 1680s. Like a, like a maze. Look at that cute, adorable little gazebo. That'd be another cute wedding place. Apparently I want to get married again, talking about all these wedding locations, <laughs> but to my husband again. Another neat fact about this gardens and plantation is that two famous people who have been here were Henry Ford and Eleanor Roosevelt. And of course me. No, I'm just they don't just put a bunch of the same color. They put these beautiful magenta colored, these white, these pink, um, these coral color, lavender colored. Look how gorgeous those are. And also these palm trees. I think these ones are my favorite. These coral ones with like the hot pink. Beep, beep, beep. I nearly said the F word, but we're on camera. Oh my God. What the? She's, hey, I'll see you. I'm an alligator. Hey, hey guys. Beep. 
crocodiles and alligators, they're so prehistoric. They've been here for, I think, millions of years, and they've survived so much. Watch out! Ah, oh <laughs> I love this bright turquoise blue bridge over this gorgeous, magnificent pond. This tree right here is the exact same tree we have in our front yard at home. Camellia japonica tree, and it actually originated in China, not Japan, and it dates back to the Song Dynasty and then was later introduced to Japan. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the gardens. I know I keep saying that. And here it opens up into the Ashley River, which surrounds the Autobahn Swamp, which is where we're headed to next. I love how peaceful the river sounds as you're walking next to it. It's just so calming. area is so beautiful because these azalea plants are just growing over and it's kind of making this tunnel as we're walking along here. It's a beautiful home. The original home was built in 1676, burned in the Civil War and rebuilt afterwards. And now a gift store. I always get bored when my wife shops. So perfect timing to promote my shirt. God is real. Hiking is free. Anyways, just on the other side of the plantation, the Audubon Swamp. So just down the road, America's first romantic garden had a huge amount of flowers. But here, the Audubon Swamp, a huge amount of wildlife, including 200 alligators. And this is where Shrek Swamp was inspired. So we're gonna try and find some uh, alligators, birds, and Shrek. Let's go. This looks like a mini Everglades National Park. Now we're in this like ancestral swamp land. I literally feel like we're about to see dinosaurs because this feels very prehistoric. In a nest. Their chirps are so distinct. What kind of birds are these? Do you hear them? I mean, talk about a diverse place to hike. You're not gonna find this. Not to mention, it's also the highest rated hiking area in Charleston. So if you're here for a uh, vacation or anything like that, and you wanna do a hike, this is a good place. Granted, Magnolia Plantation does charge a fee. I think it's worth it. You're going insane. He blends in. He just looks like a, a wooden log in the water. Roughly 40 minutes away is the Francis Marion National Forest. Francis Marion was the guy that the movie Patriot was loosely based off of. This guy used to hide in the swamp, ambush British soldiers in the Revolutionary War in a very guerrilla form way. And as you can see, it's very similar to the swamp in the movie The Patriot. If you're the type that loves wildlife all over, this is an awesome hike for you. If you don't like nature, you may come here and find that you actually do. Wow, that is so cool. They're just like all huddled together as a fam. They're just like living their best life. Look at them. They might be fighting. This is so cool. I know. This is like Jurassic Park. Like all the different types of birds too. Oh, 
This is insane. What I'm thinking is it's like a nursery. Like it's all the women birds sitting on their babies. This big little island here, there's a massive like huge bird on a very big nest. That is so cool. That's an alligator. No, it's not. That's an alligator. It's not an alligator. Oh my God, it's an alligator. <laughs> oh, wow. Great egret on my great here. Hey babe, you're gonna want to see this. What? What? What the? It's <laughs> right there. Don't move. There's another one. Look, there's someone. The amount of biodiversity and flowers and plant life, and the alligators, and the great blue heron, and the great egrets. It's phenomenal. And, and if you're in Charleston, you have to come here. Indeed, you do. Absolutely worth it. I highly recommend it. But in case you're interested in traveling to North Georgia one day, here's an idea for a quick, easy trip. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day.